project I'm currently re well updating my research on is Star Atlas uh, with the token ticker of Atlas. Um, so I was hoping if we could take a look at that one. It's a microcap project. Uh, Metaverse, GameFi, very, very promising. Um, despite you know, you know the bear, bear market, bearish con, you know uh, conditions, they're still building and developing. Um, so long as they survive these conditions, they will most certainly, in my opinion, thrive in a bull market, especially once they, um, f- you know, fully release their metaverse in gaming. So they're a metaverse uh, project, is it? Uh, yes, it's built on, I believe, Solana. Yes, it's, it's an exceptional method project. They're putting a lot of love, care, and attention to detail, um, you know, in, in, in the, in the protocol, in the metaverse, in the design of their ships, which look apps, honestly, they look absolutely amazing. I, I keep an eye out for their updates on, um, on Discord and Twitter. And, you know, you're looking at Star Trek, Star Wars esque level of detail. It's just brilliant, absolutely amazing. Okay. Um, any partners or anybody that they're. Um... Uh, I couldn't tell you off the top of my head right now because, like I said, I'm in the process of doing the research. So I've not mm-hmm. got to that bit yet. Um, but yeah, it's okay. definitely one that I'm personally very excited about. So currently, you know, it has been in a downtrend for a while. I must have looked at it um, not so long ago. Had that trend line drawn here. So just to kind of show like, you know, it kept hitting it and was not successful to break above it. Came up here, but again, it just was your um, line of, you know, bounce, um, but no, not much of a bounce. Uh, retested it here and it's just uh, been in accumulation for a while now since June uh, so this is a weekly chart came up just above this uh, level of uh, resistance so about seven six here and you can see you know it's sitting uh, in around that price point right now so just be interesting, you know, are we just entering like, you know, this kind of a wavy moment here where they've reached the bottom, uh, you know, and you can actually DC into it. Um, because like I said, again, I'll bring that point up to you. Bitcoin has been dropping and ALTS actually are holding very important levels. And this you would speak for itself here. You know, we've came up to this, um, we, we broke above that level of resistance but it didn't um it didn't successfully build that support here yet it's doing something this is a weekly chart so we're only on tuesday today uh so you'd want to kind of keep an eye you know how this week goes uh if we close you know below this uh week here your chances of coming down here and buying more around those levels are higher um like I said, this, you know, it has already like uh, formed a bit of a bottom here accumulation. It could just basically kind of get stuck in this uh, range here. Uh, has been holding so far uh, not too bad comparing to, you know, how Bitcoin has been behaving. Um, just put this on uh, again. This is a weekly chart. So, yeah, we can see it's still like that self pressure on it. Mm, show me maybe uh, one day's. So, it's just a clear accumulation zone of the minute, um, you know, pushing down a lower um, chances of just buying Atlas in around, you know, about six, nine, around the seven level, and maybe even lower here. Um, Put those cheeky bids on if you're in atlas um but if you are looking obviously at a, a potential for higher it has a long way to go back up from here and back to the point where we we say you know millionaires are built in the bear market it's where you take the risk when you buy uh projects that are you know, you're talking about 40x here. Potentially, even even like, you know, if we were to go up to this, um, that's that's 50, 53x. 
to the previous high. If this is uh, as good as a project as Milky is saying, I see no reason why uh, it won't actually going forward do well. If they are still building, if they um, have great fundamentals um, and you're, you're in this project or if you're interested in this project, uh, getting even a small bag DCAing from here on could be could be uh, really life changing. Absolutely, yeah. This could be a potential uh, what you'd call a millionaire maker, eh, Marta. If you know, if it holds out and if it delivers on its promised roadmap, um, and then you know, obviously the bull market where retail investors FOMO in at the last minute. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for people to get in in these kind of conditions, it's um, it's obviously very high risk because you know it is a micro cap project that's not yet fully launched its promise. Um, but you know, high risk, high reward. Yeah, I mean, on the daily uh, when you turn uh, uh, for uh, trading alpha, it shows you a nice bottom. We've actually hit this bottom uh, one, two, three times. Um, it kept pushing up higher, had a nice little uh, uh, push from this even level up here. It hit resistance, but it was a nice 50% uh, uh, trade. Um, we have that little M forming here. Like on a higher time frame, like I showed you there a while ago, um, we could potentially, you know, see those uh, levels here again. Just getting a few cheeky bits, uh, breaking down your uh, portfolio and buying at certain, you know, coming down to about the seven mark here, and potentially, uh, like you know, this would be a nice cheeky bid. Given that the market stays the way it is, like I said, a lot of alts are really holding really, really well. Uh, all you will need here from this point on is just patience and faith uh, in your project and um, obviously knowledge that um, you are in a solid project um, and you can potentially, you know, see going this going back and it's a new project um, and they could potentially come out with such amazing news um, going forward in the next coming years that the 50x would be just uh, the start of of the of the you know of of what they can actually offer what what they're going to bring to the table um yeah so that's atlas okay.